world my name is Rita and in this channel I share with you videos about motherhood lifestyle travel and food if you're new to this channel welcome and don't forget to subscribe and if you're already part of Rita's world keep it locked so guys uh, in today's video I'm going to do um, a day in my life without the kids and I've just woken up uh, I've just woke up uh, my bedroom is a mess uh, I'm looking at a day like a normal day without the children now at this moment the kids have gone to school and I'm just getting ready to start my day I have a few errands to run and I also have to do my stock for the shop today so I felt like tagging you guys along so that you see how my day looks like without my children and so that being said I want to start by making my bed take a shower dress up and head out so come with me let's enjoy this day together <music> Wondering how to make a play all night Thinking your way from out of sight Thinking I should ask if you're doing alright You weren't easy, so hard to ignore Pull up on your right, ask what you're drinking, ask what you like Such a look good in the dim bar light So damn cheesy Who'd have thought you'd fall for somebody like me? When you ask my name, I panicked So out of my league but it was so magnetic Before I knew it, we talked And I think about you a cocktail You told me that you'd been waiting for Somebody like me for the day i just grabbed this jacket from leroy's bedroom i can't believe now we are at a stage where we can actually share clothes oh my god but that does get easier it does really get easier so today i'm just wearing this uh, jacket from leroy's closet uh, and and a pair of jeans because it's going to be a day where i'm going to move around a lot i need comfort more than anything so this jacket will do for today also plus the weather is a bit cold yeah so i just want to grab my water grab my laptop and head on to the shop before i step out i wanted to share with you guys a package i, re I received from dark Wild collections on instagram i'm going to tag their name right here uh they sell amazing handbags uh, at an affordable price so I've been meaning to buy this handbag mostly because of church. Like when I go to church, I notice I don't have a bag that can fit the kids' snacks and also still allow me to look decent while at it. Because the kids have now outgrown the baby bag, I can't be carrying it everywhere. So I, I actually got this bag also just for the sake, uh, for the purposes of carrying my laptop to the shop. I usually don't have a, a laptop bag. And uh, because of the size, and it's really, really cute, and it comes with... Um, a small wallet over here or is it a sling bag uh, it's Louis Vuitton yes it's Louis Vuitton <laughs> so yeah so I, I actually bought this for the purpose of uh, you know carrying snacks for my kids when I'm out and about I noticed that I don't have a bag plus also just to carry my laptop whenever I need to go to the shop as you can see the size is perfect because I can now decently carry my laptop without having to carry so many things. See, it fits inside perfectly. You can't even know uh, that I'm carrying a laptop. So this will really serve me a lot. Also, I got another bag from them. Um, this bag is amazing. I've been wanting a black bag for some time now. I notice I only have one black bag, Naime Zayeka. So... Uh, I wanted to at least buy myself this. Most probably I'll use it for church. But you know, black is all purpose. So I'm sure it's going to serve me a great deal. I, I love the golden strings. 
uh, that that come with it so this is how it looks i'll play this another day so today because i'll be out and about and i need a big bag to carry my things this will do for now check them out on instagram that quad collections i'm gonna put the name here shop from them promote them they have amazing quality handbags for women Somebody so pretty is what they said to me Yeah, that's what they said to me Well, they told me I didn't stand a chance, yeah Things fell, you had you at a glance, yeah But nobody ever asked if you could dance, yeah Well, the only one who did that was somebody like me When you asked my name, I panicked So out of my league And your body was so magnetic Before I knew it, we talked and so guys, I'm at the shop. Uh, as you can see, it's a small, simple shop. And this is uh, a business I started uh, last year. It's now officially one year and uh, it will be one year in August, I think. Because on the on the permit, it says, the, the, actually July. So it's one year, one month, this, this month. So it's not easy running a business, but uh, it's, as, uh, it's something that you can do on the side to supplement your income. Like I always say, you, if you have an opportunity to do something on the side to supplement your income, do so. So I just want to take my stock real quick. Uh, and I'm going to start by first of all counting everything that is here and tallying it with what I left last week and also what we added. And then from there I'll be able to see what we need to add and then go for that. So that's what I'm doing currently. So stay tuned. Somebody Like me. Wondering how to make a play all night Looking your way from out of sight Thinking I should ask if you're doing alright You weren't easy, so hard to ignore Pull up on your right, ask what you're drinking, ask what you like Said you look good in the dim bar light So damn cheesy, who'd have thought you'd fall for somebody like me? When you asked my name, I panicked, so what am I leaving? But it was so magnetic Before I knew it, we talked And I think about you a cocktail You told me that you'd been waiting for Somebody like me So now I'm done with stock taking and I wanted to show you guys um, this. Sorry, the epic is passing here. So there's that camera that I got from Nanny Comes Kenya. If you run a business and you want to have your eyes on your business at all times, you can get that. It, it actually follows motion. Eh? Let me show you. It follows motion. Like if I do this, you hear that sound? So it follows where there's movement. So in case there's movement within the shop, it can detect and you'll be able to see that on your phone. So that's one of the ways that I keep track of my business and I can check on whatever activities are happening in my absence. So if you need one, grab it from Nani Comes Kenya. So two hours, 30, two hours and 30 minutes later, I'm still in the shopping center. The van for the stock is here. So I'm waiting for them to come to my shop and uh, remove the things I need. So now, uh, there are a few things I still need to do. And uh, I want to try and see if I can achieve that today. Some of the sodas and things like that, I have to go get them myself. But so far, so good. This process right here takes like most of my day. But I'm glad I'm over and done with that. So I needed to go and pick the kids' shoes from Kawangware. I don't know if I'll be able to do that because right now it's about, it's going to 4 p.m. Also, the weather is changing a little bit. 
so yeah let me wait for that order and then leave i really don't have to be there for this part of the process because some of the orders i'll place and the the vendors will deliver rather the when i turn a in our to easy shop so i turn the depot guys will deliver even in my absence and then the receipts are kept for me to counter check the next time i come so that's that which are to go to let drinks and then i see if i can rush and do a couple of things wondering how to make a play all night flipping your way from out of sight thinking i should ask if you're doing all right you weren't easy so hard to ignore pull up on your right ask what you're drinking ask what you like such a look good in the dim bar light so damn cheesy who'd have thought you'd fall for somebody like me when you ask my name so guys i am done with this shop Next, I want to go to Kawangware to get thrifted uh, sports shoes for kids for school. The reason why I prefer those shoes is because, number one, they are affordable because the kids are really outgrowing these things that are very fast rate. Uh, and um, I also need to go and get some greens from the same market. Uh, we don't have greens. We run out of greens. And uh, I also need to go and get the kids snacks from the wholesale. Why? Will I manage? I forgot about that. So, yeah. I want to now go try and see if I can get some shoes for them. So what am I late? And your body was so magnetic. Before I knew it, we talked and I think about you a cocktail. You told me that you've been waiting for somebody like me. so guys i am back home and i just wanted to show you guys the shoes that i got before i end this video and i'm sure by the time this video drops you would have already i would have already seen the kids reaction to when they receive their kid when they see their shoes because um, my kids are the type of kids who really get excited when you buy them something new it doesn't matter how much it costs but as long as you come home with something new they are super excited so i want to start with Leroy's shoes all the shoes that I'm going to show you guys are 300 shillings. And like I said, I got them from Kawangware, opposite Salama stage. There's a guy who, Amemwaga, Viatu Apochini. You can go check them out. So this is Liri's shoe, one of Liri's shoe. As you can see, it's quite dope. Eh? Nikasafi, Nikazuri. It even has two laces inside, very clean laces. So this is the first pair. <clears throat> this is the first pair that I got. And this is how it looks. These are Liri's shoes. I had gone actually to get them shoes for school. I didn't think I was going to get such cute shoes. Also, another pair for Lero is this super comfortable, uh, sort of like a workout shoe that I got. I really like this. I think this is what he'll be using uh, to go to school for those those days when they have PE and games or whatever it is they do in school or football. I also got this for him. As you can see, it's quite a nice shoe. The good quality uh, sport shoes, but also affordable. Something I've noticed about kids, no matter how expensive the shoes cost, they are not going to stop growing just because of that. So nowadays I try to get affordable shoes because I realize they can only take them as far as one term. After that, you have to kind of buy new shoes. So these are um, Tajus shoes. These shoes are blue uh, and I think they're boy shoes, but also they're really cute. I think we can, we can wear them as unisex. You can even see the way the sole looks. It's quite new. See, it's quite new. And it only costs 300 shillings. So this is one of uh, Taju's shoes. I'm going to maybe dress her up in this, maybe with jeans or um, dungarees or something like that. Also, she can wear it to school because their school uniform is blue. Another shoe I got for Taju is this pink, cute, um, what is this called? Eh? This cute pink Elsa shoes. Uh, there's a difference between my daughters. Imani likes tomboyish things like air forces. What's your friend? Uh, it's true. Yeah, she likes air force, right? So you like this one? 
what are they called? Jordans. Oh, so Imani likes shoes like Jordans, and Taju likes things like Elsa's, pinkish, glittery, and all that. And as you can see, this is this turned out to be Mani's favorite shoe. I didn't even know that. She she says they're Jordans. I don't know how true that is. Me, I'm not so big on labels, you guys. So when I brought the shoe home, she was like, "Oh, mom, you brought me a Jordan." And she was so excited. So Taju likes glittery things, shimmery things, you know, gully gully things. And Mani is quite the opposite. So these are the two shoes I got for Taju, as you can see. And then for Imani, uh, this turn, actually turned out to be her favorite. I didn't even know that. Now I know. I think I'll get her more of this. These shoes, as you can see, even the sole is not used. Like it's, it's, it's just, they're used, yes, but not so much used. I don't know. I don't know what word to use. <coughs> they're used, but they're still in good condition. So like this, these are for Imani. And uh, this is how it comes. It's a pair, you can see. That's how they look. They're so cute. And then also, I got Imani these ones. These ones are white, you guys. Like, these shoes are so cute. They have a pink uh, Nike here. Also very cute shoes. You can see here it's netish. And then and then here it's rubber. Like, the sole is pure rubber. This I love. So Imani also got this for, for, for school. So they can be interchanging. I usually wait until the shoes... Uh, so that I can now buy back ones. So even this time I didn't get time to shop as much because I was running out of time. This is what I was able to get. So if you're looking for second hand shoes, you can try that. Also, I hear Gikomba has very nice shoes by the way. I'm planning to go for a thrift shopping haul at Gikomba and then I'll come back here and tell you guys uh, the difference in terms of price and quality and all that. So that being said, guys, let me just chill, take a shower. It's super cold. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in another video. video.